Thank you, Chad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the China for a total of 16 days, played uh, nine games for 10 days. Um, you know, great experience, you know, getting back on the court, you know, kind of shaking the rust off, you know, getting it back on the set. It's been a while to see that year, so, you know, I feel like I learned a lot, some things I can bring back you know, from, you know, in the summer. To the season. Looks like you put up some pretty decent numbers to talk about how you felt with your game. Um, you know, just the first couple of games, you know, I was winning. You know, play, you know, wild, but, you know, I just stayed aggressive. You know, the first time I was able to play through, you know, missed a few shots. And, uh, you know, once I, you know, got over that, I kind of got myself going. Did you have any expectations going in? And if so, how did the way you performed compare with that, what you expected going in? Um, I didn't have a lot of expectations on number one. Number one, I just wanted to, you know, go out and compete and, you know, show my improvements that I've made. Was there anything in particular Coach Gross told you to work on over there? Um, over there, he just told me to compete. Uh, you know, offensively, uh, don't you know, hesitate. You know, be aggressive. Defensively, you know, get after. He also got a sightsee, it looks like, a little bit. Talk about just the experience, the non-basketball part of it. Oh, uh, non-basketball, I got to see a very long time. You know, something that I didn't think I would ever be able to see. Um, you know, that was something that I remember for the rest of my life. And then, you know, I was able to talk to some kids over there. You know, I gave away some of my life to the kids over there. Thank you for the fans. And, you know, so, you know, it was a good opportunity for me. A couple of years ago, uh, Dominique Keller and Alex Legion went to China for the only basketball team they were working with. They had a hard time joining the arenas because they were smoking. Yeah, that... the, the arenas were smoking. You know, there are a lot of people were smoking over there inside the arenas. And then, uh, you know, there was no smoking. Uh, age one over there, so I mean, everybody was smoking. 40 year old kids on the street. <laughs> 10 year old kids, well, I've never seen that. It's it like going into the season right now, knowing that your part of the time is going to be on the court play? Oh, it's a great feeling. You know, last year, you know, I was kind of behind the scenes, and now, you know, I feel like I'm you know, the back of part of the team, you know, just ready to help. Practice different for you knowing that? Uh, you know, well, last year, you know, I, I took practice like a game. You know, I, I, I tried to, you know, I was kind of part of the team in practice. You know, this game day, you know, it was just kind of hard. But the practice, you know, I tried to be out there, you know, it was my game. Were you able to take any sort of benefit away from, I guess, stepping back from the last year, knowing you weren't going to be able to play, but you kind of get immersed in the culture here in the program without having the pressure of performing on the court? Yeah, uh, there was no pressure to perform on the court, so I was able to. You know, just get better. You know, understand what co the coach is wanting for me. You know, get to know my teammates, but I'll have to, you know, go out and perform you know, the game. Did you notice any major difference in the style of play that you saw overseas as compared to what you're like used to over here? Um, it was really up tempo. Um, it wasn't a lot of defense. I mean, they they played well. But they weren't that athletic. So, uh, and a 24 second shot clock. The ball was a little better. Three point line was a little farther. It was a little different than what I was used to, but you know, I wasn't complaining. I was you know, happy with that. How would you compare the competition level to over uh, here? Um, some teams better than others. Um, I think some teams, I think, could compete. You know, with you know, us and big time players, the other teams are not so. Were you uh, allowed to walk around to check for like a minder watching where you were going? I had a couple of translators with me. Um, you know, when I was going on food or going in the hotel, you know, kind of had a And what did you think of the food? Um, different. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm talking about. It was different. <laughs> <laughs> it was different. 